Greetings! 50 years ago today, on a Wednesday, no less, I entered this planet. And um, today, 50 years later, it's a Wednesday. And a little bit of trivia for you guys. Um, in, the, in the country of Ghana, your first name is the day you were born. So, my first name in Ghana is Kwaku. Like uh, Kofi Annan from the U uh, from the UN, uh, Kofi means Monday. So, and of course I'm a Scottish Lord. So, celebrating my fiftieth, Lord Kwaku Noel Stefan Stoyanov. Now, I would have been in Britain because I try to do special things on my birthdays, especially the decade ones. On the thirtieth, I recorded a live album. On the 40th, I went snowboarding in Arapaho Basin, Colorado, and on the 50th, I was planning on being in the UK. <laughs> well, things didn't go as planned, and I, I canceled that trip. And then, as I was going to, uh, uh, a friend of mine, uh, my friend Kate, was really like, we gotta do something for your birthday, gotta do something for your birthday, so we decided we were gonna go out to Steubenville, Ohio, um, and get supposedly this De Carlos, De Carlos pizza, which is supposedly the greatest pizza in the world that my buddy Rocky and my buddy uh, Kevin think have told me. And then we were going to party in Pittsburgh. And then we got the pandemic, except style. It's a pandemic. Uh, so I'm home celebrating my birthday with myself and the dog. Spent a nice day uh, just chilling out with the pup. We slept in. Uh, then I uh, spoke with my uh, brother from another mother in the UK, Dr. Fournier. And then I'm making this video and I'll probably, I don't know, chill out, watch a movie. Um, I'm going to take this time. Well, oh, interesting thing to happen today. I uh, decided for my birthday present. Uh, because I was watching it last night with my buddy brother John, who is now my housemate downstairs. Um, we were watching the movie um, Blow Up, 1966, Michelangelo Antonioni. Fantastic movie. And if you've seen um, uh, 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 Austin, um, Austin Powers, you know how he's doing the photographer, oh, groovy baby, and he's taking those pictures. All of that's uh, a spoof on the... Um, blow up great movie um possessed no doubt but it's an excellent flick and there's a rare scene where the yardbirds are playing and uh jeff beck and jimmy page are both in the band and jeff beck smashes a guitar which i later which i found out when i was researching a little bit of trivia um that that was the guitar player from tomorrow's guitar and the band Tomorrow had a minor hit called My White Bicycle, which the band Nazareth wound up redoing, and I think they had a minor hit with it. And that guitar player's name was Steve Howe. How'd you like that? Uh, so, as you could tell, music is a big part of my life. So, you know, one of the things that pisses me off is this thing that people are like, um, well, in my day, you know, uh, you know, and this, this, these halcyon... Um, uh, remembrances of past that was so much better and uh, you know I love these 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 things well in my day we went outside and played and and we had cigarette smoke blown in our face and we drove backwards in the station wagon and you had priest fuck boys in the ass too and uncles were banging their little nieces and nobody said anything okay it wasn't all that fucking great kids and you know I think what we need to do was understand that the world evolves, time evolves, things change, and it's good to embrace them. Now, there's still things in the past that are really worth keeping on to. So I'm going to give you guys, um, while you're looking for things to do, and I know many of you guys have... Um, you know, Spotify and all that stuff. And back in the day, we'd have to make cassette tapes and, and whatever, make our own little mixtapes, <clears throat> which you can easily make at the push of a button. But <clears throat> every good album should tell a story. And 
<clears throat> we used to have, um, you know, in the day we used to get the album, you'd go to the record store and you'd play, you'd take it home and you'd read it or watch the album cover. It was this big and you'd listen with those big headphones. And in this modern world, you really can't do that. And that's why you have the Spotify in your playlisting. But I do want to say to you guys, and especially you young kids who haven't had the chance to experience the joy of a good album, and I know you guys like the older music because I know you guys are digging, you know, ACDC and Kiss and all those albums. Um, check out, if you like a song by one of your favorite bands and you've got it in a playlist, listen to the rest of the album and listen to it in album order, okay? And you can find out, so, you know, if you like the song Back in Black by ACDC, Go look up the album, Back in Black, and listen to it in album order. There's a great feeling when you hear those bells ding for Hell's Bells, and the whole sh album goes from one song into the next, and it ends with uh, Rock and Roll Ain't Noise Pollution, you know? And it just it's like a nice journey. Not all albums were concept albums like, say, Pink Floyd or, say, Jethro Tull's um, uh, Passion Play or Thick as a Brick. But, man, you listen to Aqualung, and it starts with Aqualung, and it, and it goes into Cross-Eyed Mary, and then it chills out a little bit and, and goes into, I think, Cheap Day Return and Mother Goose. And then it ends the first side with My God. No, My God starts the second side. And then the whole album ends with uh, Wind Up, if I believe correctly. And it's just a great statement through and a little journey. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of songs that just aren't that good on them on alone but as a as an album cut when you listen to the album then i'll give you a uh, don't turn your back last song off of blue oyster cults um uh, fire of unknown origin 82 81 81 the big hit off that album was burn it for you and uh the last song off that album is called don't turn your back and it's really it's like a snippet of a song, but it comes right off of, uh, I believe, Joan Crawford, the song Joan Crawford, and it ends and then just goes right into that song, and it's, it's really cool. And, you know, like, I, I, you know I, I'm not above playlisting, and I put my favorite songs. I've got a playlist called Morning Shower, and I just put in all these songs, and I listen to them. And, like, I heard Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde was in my playlist and it went to something else and the problem is i'm so used to hearing overkill bum, ba, ba, da, da. Bum, right out of dr jekyll and mr hyde it's such a mm, that feeling was missed and so when i work as i listen to music all day i'm a software engineer so I, li I listen to albums and the full album takes me on a journey so if i i'm, I'm, I'm it's early in the morning maybe i need to wake up Put on a heavy metal album. Put on Metal Church's first album. Man, those first three those first three songs are a great way to just get yourself going. Be on the Black Metal Church, and then I think it's God's of Wrath next. They bring it down, you know, uh, and then they bring it back up again. Um, good albums tell a story, and that art has been lost over time. And from one old man to a younger generation check it out it's actually pretty cool but you know what kids there's a lot of cool things that you guys do that I really enjoy as well so there's no day that was better just enjoy life all right from one 50 year old man here to you young kids enjoy the day stay safe uh, stay inside or stay away from people. If you got to go outside, you know, walk the dog or take a walk. It's a beautiful day out there. I get it. Do it. Take it. But um, stay safe. Let's help flatten this curve. And let's learn about something. Good luck. Peace. As I always, uh, as an addendum to my last discussion, obviously I must be... Um, getting old and senile because as I review the last one before I edit it, I noticed I was going to say something and then I rambled on Led Zeppelin style. Um, but going back, circling back to that blow up video, um, I enjoyed it so much having seen it only like two or three times before, but it just really struck me last night. And there's a Criterion Collection version on uh, as a double disc set, disc set. And I said, I'm going to buy that to myself for my birthday. And 
on the 25th of March, it was like 20, 22.99. The tax came to 2.99. It's one of those things where the total price was, or the tax came to 201 or something like that. I can't remember how it worked out, but the total price was $25 on the 25th of March. Oh, by the way, today is Reed Tolkien Day, and if you know anything about uh, Lord of the Rings, the 25th of March was considered the new year in um, Middle Earth. So, peace, everybody. Stay safe.